what's it feel like to have a bit of premiere of a film about, about your life? It's not something you ever prepare for. They don't teach you this in school. <laughs> so <laughs> um, we're just kind of making it up as we go along and just enjoying the experience. It's, but it is surreal in the extreme. When the producers first came to you about the idea of, of making a story of your life into a film, were you, were you hesitant at all or was it, was it quite an easy thing to say yes not, to? Not really. Um, uh, Bill Clark, the director, is a, is a very good friend from uh, years before when uh, Nick was a, 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 a film director in her own right. And so he was almost like a family friend and we knew that he'd treat the subject with um, dignity and, uh, and uh, integrity. So it, it, it was actually a, such a fun thing to do after years of being involved in just hospital treatment and facial reconstruction and surgery um, it was suddenly a new lease of life um, creatively so uh, we had no 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 hesitation at all i heard that you spent a little bit of time on set was it was it important to you to, to go down and see what they were doing or was it just that you were just so curious about the film well it's because i worked in the industry before and um it would have just felt completely wrong if I hadn't been part of that. And even though I wasn't kind of able to be part of the bits that were to do with dialogue, because I found that quite stressful to listen to, actually I was just, I was put in the art department with a paintbrush, which was very therapeutic. I felt like I was contributing uh, in the kind of area that I really love. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, had a kind of, a certain kind of distance and objectivity from it, which made it more kind of, easier to kind of bear really. Yeah. Let me ask you about Joanne because she's one of the producers or executive producers on the film. How early into the process did you meet her? Oh, it was it was quite late really. I mean the, the, the film has you know taken since 2007 and it's actually in the last couple of years that she got on board that um, then it really started to, the snowball started to really kind of roll and you know grow um, because she's just such a kind of force. For, <laughs> Once she throws herself behind something, her energy is enormous and her passion is enormous. So we actually met her quite late in the process, but they'd been watching research films of us for quite a long time. So they got us. <laughs> they kind of absorbed us by that point. Yeah, and I have to say, that Joanna Froggart's performance, I was watching it last night and thinking about the way she portrayed Nick I lost my memory completely um, when this happened. Uh, I was in a coma for five months and when I came out I didn't even know who Nick was. And I was watching the film um, and her performance actually brings back a lot of the memory that I'd lost about how uh, how the way she interacts with Tom Riley and the intimacy and the dialogue and um, the way that we used to get on. Um, the way with, she is with the kids as well. The way she is with the kids, yeah. yeah. Um, it, she brought that back with her performance, and and now I've got that um, to to remind me. It's, it's it's a it's a really truly beautiful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.